What's up? It's John here. We're in our house rental on Tybee Island. We're fixing to go and do the Tybee Island Lighthouse experience. So follow us. Join us on this whirlwind adventure as we climb to the top of what was once the tallest point in Colonial America. So follow us. Before we actually head out, I want to give you a little bit of history on the lighthouse because there are probably a lot of people there won't be able to do a whole lot of talking but it was orig originally ordered by general james oglethorpe in 1732 so they constructed this lighthouse it was originally 90 foot tall and it was much closer to the ocean so they built this lighthouse closer what are you doing <laughs> sorry they built this lighthouse close to the ocean and after several years, you know, about 20, 30 years went by, the waves were taking its toll on the foundation of the lighthouse. So they moved it. They took it down, they moved it, and they actually built it taller. They built it up to, I believe it's 154 feet, somewhere along that lines from 90 feet. And, and added the light to it, the lens. Um, when the Civil War ended, a good amount of it had been damaged. And, you know, back in the old days when they built lighthouses, they constructed them out of concrete, brick, and wood. So what they did is when they had to repair and remodel the lighthouse right after the Civil War in the 1860s, they actually made it completely fireproof and put a solid iron spiral staircase all the way to the top. No wood, only concrete, brick, and iron. So making it 100% fireproof which means it's going to last a long time as long as it's being maintained. So let's go check this thing out and get to the top of it. The lighthouse is actually close enough that we can just walk to it from our house. So we're going to go check this thing out. And as we walk up here, there is the lighthouse itself. We got an old anchor right here at the sign. That's pretty cool. I forgot to wear my sunglasses today and it's bright. I think it's tall. So let's go up there. And we are here fixing to go inside. So go with us as we walk to the top. This building right behind the lighthouse is where they stored the old lamp fuel back in the olden days. Don't let that scare you because it is almost... big metal door there. It's pretty cool. That's cool. If anybody wants to go ahead and get started, six of y'all can see that. Yeah, that looks cool. Old bulbs and stuff in here. Look at that bulb. And that lens here. Okay, so somebody needs to carry the six. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. It's a long walk, a little out of breath, but worth it. It's beautiful up here. Show you guys the view we got. Supposedly can see Hilton Head from here. There's Heather. Let's focus down here. Hi, Heather. There she is. She decided not to climb to the top. But yeah, we're at the top. Savannah Lighthouse. Beautiful up here. Let's walk around. <clears throat> 154 steps to the top. Sorry I'm breathing a little heavy, but... <sighs> nice walk up here, though. Wonderful breeze. Feels good. Get ready to descend this massive lighthouse. A little look at the globe up here. The light actually comes and we can't walk up to it. 
but it's actually a working lighthouse. Got a helipad down there. This is definitely vertigo inducing. With my calling card. This is Just the, about. It's there you take up to the bottom. Ooh. You see the bulb right here? The breeze at the top. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go out here. Uh huh. Right there. You ready? Nice and slow. Watch the rail, please. Oh, come on. Pretty cool lighthouse. Time to descend. Cause these little windows ever so often look out of nice breeze coming through. <sighs> Pretty cool place. Enjoyed it. Very tiring, very vertigo inducing coming down. I got left by my friends again. They're sitting over here. They left me at the top by myself, but it's okay. I was taking forever and indulging in the beauty from the top. There's many more places here we're gonna check out, so stay tuned. You can see through here's all the innkeeper houses. And here's another view of that whiz up there, up on top. So yeah, lots of different innkeeper's houses, different places to explore here. Um, go inside of a couple here and then head on out for the day. This is called the Summer Kitchen, built in 1812. Let's check this out. House as it originally was. Some old remnants from times past. These old bottles in here. Some old bottle collectors go nuts. My dad would love that. Malt, not carbonate. Wow, look at this baby doll. Look at the ceramic baby doll. Yeah, the ceramic baby doll. Right there. They say that you find those in the dirt a lot, the little ceramic dolls. People collect those. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at these big shells over here. Those big oyster shells. Clam and oyster shell there. They're massive. Is that dinosaur bones? Boar tusk. Housekeeper's cottage. I'll get it later. Let's go in here and check this out. Thank you. Here. No table lamp. Look at this old. Please do not open. Hey, look, it's an antique turlet and a sink and a tub. Oh, it's still got a lot of antique furniture in here. This looks familiar. Somebody I know has that. Pre-renovation right here. Well, it is in bad shape. Somebody got married in here. 1949. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. 
pull the stairs up there. You got a right. sharp turn. This is 1960s right here. Look how bad a shape it was in. Got a nice Lizzie Borden type couch here. I love these old, this old antique furniture. Old desk chair. Oh. It'd be really fun to scare people through this window. Look at that. But is it really playing music? They have a newer stereo inside. <laughs> you phonies. Together, but check out how that's modeled after my house. Let's go upstairs. I figure I'd be about tired of stairs now. Oh! Excuse me, young lady. Be the child's room. Wow, look at all these old toys. Me and Heather used to actually have a horse a lot like it. Yeah. It's a pretty cool, that'd be an awesome playroom to have as a kid. What? Oh, yeah, I know you did. <laughs> Me and Heather used to have one that looked a lot like this. We like our antiques. <laughs> oh, there's another camera. This is a very pretty cottage. Oh, look at that airplane. Oh, look at the dog. Buy war bonds. Hello. Look at this, all this old cast iron. Ooh, they even got bread ready for us. Over, are they? <laughs> they, they, were, they were pretty good at breakfast, but now, well, now they're, they're a little stale. Oh, I like the Andy Griffith phone over here. <laughs> this is the headkeeper cottage. Mm -hmm. It was built in 1881. Wow. And uh, so it was uh, been restored back to the way it looked in the 30s. Yeah, I saw the pictures pre restoration of it. That used to have a, a reservoir where she's standing mm -hmm. for water. Oh. Ah. Okay, there you go. That's what he was just talking yeah. about. He said that had a like reservoir. A, <laughs> they're a little stale now, man. Yeah, they're, they're, they're hockey pucks now. Yeah, Will we get Sarah on the other end? No, we might get Mildred. <laughs> might get Mildred? Okay. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate it. They got a lovely little garden back here. They even have charred. Tomatoes, potatoes, rosemary, Brussels sprouts, onions, pears. Oh, it's peas, not pears, sorry. Peppers and sage. Lovely garden, huh, honey? Just like the ones you like to grow. No? You don't like to grow a garden? <laughs> right across the way here is the old battery from the fort. And as you can tell, focus, focus. That's a no trespassing sign. There's a little part of it we can get into, but we ain't got time today. It's not really that extravagant. It's just solid concrete building. But it is from 1898 and it's a cool structure to look at. So I figured I'd show it to you. But we have checked out the Tommy Island Lighthouse area, the cottage, the innkeeper's cottage, a couple of little buildings on property. Pretty cool place. But uh, we're gonna conclude our video here we're going to carry on and go eat some lunch and enjoy the rest of our day. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this place. Let me know if you've been here. I left a couple cards here if you found them and looked me up. Comment on it. Let me know you found my cards. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Love you. Till next time, y'all have a wonderful day.